Good morning friends, welcome to the first vlog of 2021. I know I did upload a vlog already this year, but it was actually filmed in December 2020. So this is officially the first 2021 vlog. Um, the year has kicked off, well, I mean, it's been wild, hasn't it? Like I've been thinking about everyone in the US and dealing with everything that's been happening there. It's, it's just, it's a mess, it's a mess. And we knew this would happen. We knew that the calendar doesn't automatically like um, cause a shift in the world or, you know, <laughs> fix pandemics, fix governments or anything like that. Um, but overall for me, um, well, I was gonna say overall it's been a positive start, but I don't know if I can actually say that or not. I had a rough week last week, honestly. Um, I don't know, it was just, just dealing with, with life. Um, some frustrations at work, some frustrations with myself. Um, I wasn't very kind to myself last week, perhaps. So this week I've definitely been trying to like stay more positive um, and not be bringing that energy into this new week. Yeah, but um, I felt like vlogging today. I felt like showing you what I'm up to. It's a Tuesday and something that we're doing at ConvertKit this year is having no meeting Tuesdays and Fridays. So that means that, well, I don't have any meetings booked in today, so we're not going to see as much footage of me talking into my microphone. Um, I am going to record a podcast with Femme though, so that's the thing that will be happening. Um, and I do have a Spanish class today, so, you know, there will be a bit of that, but maybe not as much as usual. And it has meant that the other days of the week, so the Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, my afternoons slash evenings are crammed with meetings because we're trying to like fit everything in then. But I'm hopeful that it means that today is going to be a good, like, nice, productive day. Because um, I don't have to, yeah, think about context switching as much. Um, what have I got to do today? So, right now we're working through our review cycle. This is my first performance review cycle as a manager. So that's exciting and interesting and challenging and difficult and friggin' scary. <laughs> but, yeah, working through that. Um, luckily, I only have three people on my team who are there for the full light review cycle, so, um, you know, I've only got three to work through, and I'm getting help on them from their previous manager, but yeah, it's, um, something new for me, for sure. In exciting news, we had our new designer start yesterday, which is very exciting. Um, I don't know if he wants to, like, have it be known publicly, um, but his name's Caleb, and so you might hear me reference him every now and then, but we'll see if he is a person who would want to actually be on camera, like, uh, you know, me filming my screen or whatever. At times, like, I know Corey doesn't mind, but yeah. Um, that's been cool, so I'm going to check in with him now and see how, how he's going for his second day at the company. We have a pretty, like, intense two-week onboarding process of, like, getting people up to speed with learning about the company and, um, you know, the product and all that as well. So he's got lots to be getting on with, lots of learning to do. But yeah, I'm gonna, gonna see how he's going. Um, what else? I need to get some design done today, and I might stream it. This is something that I did two weeks ago. I didn't stream it all last week because I, like like I said, wasn't really feeling like it. But um, I streamed a session wireframing a website and I would like to stream some more as I move on with the design with it. So that might be a thing we do today. Yeah, let's get on and have a good work day. So I just had a private Spanish lesson, which was very fun. Um, as you know, if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, I've been doing classes for almost a year now. I started in March last year, I had one in person before the quarantine hit. Um, my online classes that are like the group ones I was doing throughout 2020 were in the evenings on Mondays and Wednesdays. And I was just really finding it like affecting my whole week, having classes from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Um, it made work more stressful to like fit meetings in around other things and sometimes it was, I would end up needing to do work after my Spanish class which meant I didn't get good sleep which then affected the next day etc. And so I tried to do a group class earlier in the day because one of the things I wanted to do with Spanish classes was like meet people um, and sadly you know it's you can't meet people as well online through your Spanish class. Um, I don't know, there's no sort of like before class, after class interaction where you could go get a drink with someone or whatever. I don't know, I was kind of like hoping to make friends in class. Um, there is one girl who I'm gonna, once we're able to meet in person again, ask out for a coffee or something. 
Um, but anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I've decided this year to go for private classes instead just so that I can have them in the morning because there wasn't like an online morning class at my level, like a group one that suited. Uh, and yeah, it went really well. I feel like I spoke a lot more than I would normally do in um, the group classes and that's what I need. I need practice like being forced to speak it and uncover all of the words that I don't know because there is a lot of them <laughs> that I just learned in today's where I like was like, oh, how do you say this? Anyway, um, I'm gonna record a podcast with Femme now. So let's go do that. Um, what are we talking about today? Did you wanna do... Oh man, okay, um, the camera's in the same place so it probably looks like not a lot of time has passed but many hours have. Um, it's been a busy afternoon not working on the things that I wanted to be working on. I've been sort of like fighting a few fires, <laughs> let's just put it that way. Um, and there's been a lot of like back and forth and um, communication, very synchronous with communication with teammates about some things. Uh, but to end out my day, I want to make sure I'm getting in like an hour of focused design time today because that is like just something that I need to make happen. So, I think I'm going to stream. Um, last week, I think I said the start of this vlog, I streamed on Twitch some, some design stuff and it was a really great like productive session. And so I'm going to try it again. Uh, I'm going to try streaming as I work on a design. So I'm just sort of like closing stuff down that I don't want to have showing on my screen during stream and uh, getting ready for that. This will be fun. That's going to be really distracting. <laughs> oh man, that stream was great. That's exactly what I needed. It was like a chaotic afternoon, as you probably like sensed from uh, the way I was talking about it, with a lot of like reactive stuff. And so to take the time, and I spent like an hour and a half um, on that stream working on things was great. Yeah, really good. Feeling really good about that. Now I'm starving though, so I'm going to sign off for the day and go make dinner and I'll see you again tomorrow. Good morning. I'm going to take this off so that you can actually probably hear me for a minute. There's no one around. It's just me. Um, come on a morning walk to visit my favorite buildings. I feel like these buildings don't feature in my vlogs as often as they feature in my life, if that makes sense. Um, it's a very accurate representation of a work day for me to come and visit these. I do it a couple of times a week just to go for a little walk, you know? Um, yeah, I love them. This was, these buildings were part of the reason why I fell in love with Valencia. I just think they're so cool. And even though, like, I don't know, when you get up close to them, <laughs> they're very run down and like not as, um, can you even see that one in the background? It's, nope, it's too bright. Um, yeah, they're very run down and they perhaps don't look as good in person as they do in pictures, but hey, <laughs> still nice. Nice to have a place to like, you know, a destination to come walk to, to get out of the house, um, to kick off my day. Yeah, um, just out for a bit of exercise. Um, oh man, last night I, I didn't sleep good. Well, I slept okay, but I woke up really early. And it's like, as soon as I wake up, my mind is like, it's time to think about work now. And I need to find a way for that to be not the case because it's not going to be sustainable long term, you know. Um, I always do something sort of like, you know, mindful like this in the mornings before the work day. Come for a walk, do some yoga, do a workout, you know, as you've seen in previous vlogs. Um, something that my boyfriend Mark suggested, I was talking to him about it this morning, is that I end each day with something mindful as well to sort of have more of a break between the work day and the evening because I sort of like, I'm finishing up work sort of like tearing myself away from replying to messages or like you know getting things done because uh, when it's the end of my day it's sort of the middle of the day for the US team and that's when they're like you know active on slack and conversations are happening and I'm like I gotta be a part of it uh, yeah so he suggested that I yeah 
do something mindful to close the day. So I think I'm going to do that today and we'll try it out and see how it goes. Um, I know that you can't just do it once and expect it to work but um, yeah we'll see how it feels to not be sort of like rushing from work to making dinner to like okay you've got to get like an hour of relaxing in now before it's time for bed. Like it makes no sense to stress about relaxing time does it? That's, that's just weird. So yeah I think it's a good suggestion. We'll try it out. Um, I don't know if I have anything else to say right now. Yeah, I'm gonna sort of continue on a little bit more. There's some more buildings down here. Check out that one. That's a science museum. Oh yeah, this is like, it's called the City of Arts and Sciences. Did I say that already? This is an IMAX. This is an opera house. Um, we walk past like the music hall as well. But yeah, they're just beautiful, beautiful buildings. Calatrava buildings. I'm gonna loop down and uh, head back. We're doing a movement challenge at work at the moment. I probably should have stopped my watch while I sat down for a second, uh, like tracking my walk. Um, we're doing a movement challenge because like ConvertKit likes to arrange these sort of wellness challenges which is really fun. This one's a team one so you're paired up with someone and combined you need to do 40 minutes of movement per day. Uh, and if you do, and you do that for like the full two weeks in a row or whatever it is, then there's like prices and stuff like that. And it's a really different challenge because like we've had them before when it's just been like you trying to not eat sugar for two weeks or trying to do this for two weeks or whatever. But when there's someone else like on your team and I'm like, I don't want to let um, my teammate Mark down by not doing my exercise for the day. And so it's working. It's working well, this whole like team competition thing to, to get us moving, I think, which is great. Oh look, here we are. This is as much as touristing as I can do lately. <laughs> Put this back on now. Let's keep walking. bullet journal video which I think you will have seen by now but I am challenging myself this year to make time to write every day just a lot of the projects and like things I want to do um, you know writing helps with them or like writing needs to be done in order to make them happen and uh, so I've been trying to develop that habit um, last week my writing sessions were definitely longer than they have been this week like I've probably only done like a five minute writing session Monday Tuesday Wednesday this week but that's okay because the point is to make it a habit and to do it every day even if it is only for a short amount of time so yeah just marked those off in the bullet journal and now it's time to open up slack and check in on things and uh, sort out what i need to do today Just had a big long meeting going through our current design and development process with our new designer and Corey and that was really fun to sort of like you know offload all that information um, and it's just so exciting to have someone else on the team to be working on our marketing website with me and Corey after all this time. Um, yeah I have a very short break between meetings now before yeah getting into the last few for the day um something that i'm doing a bit later on and it's probably gonna be the next clip you see honestly uh, is i am hosting a new podcast uh this is gonna be my third podcast for my portfolio repertoire i don't know what word to use there but i'm taking over hosting the future belongs to creators which is a podcast that nathan and barrett started um, back when the pandemic first hit and they just like wanted to be creating more. It started out as a daily live show, dropped down to a twice a week live show. And now I'm going to be hosting it alongside Haley and Miguel from the ConvertKit team. And we're going to be doing it once a week live on Wednesdays at 12.30 Eastern time. So if you ever want to come hang out in the live chat while we do that, I would love to see you there. It's over on the ConvertKit YouTube channel, youtube.com slash ConvertKit. I will put a link on a card trying to think about which corner a card goes in. I'm gonna point there, but I think I'm wrong. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, um, you should subscribe and come join us yeah, on Wednesdays for those. There'll be all episodes about like the creator economy, the creator industry, what it is, means to be a creator. We'll have interviews and I don't know, project deep dives and discussions and it's gonna be a fun time. So that's what I'm doing later on tonight. I'm feeling nervous because it's our first like live one, but to host it, I've been uh, testing out this software called StreamYard, 
that I think is going to enable us, this is just an example of me up right now, to do some cool things like, for example, I can play a countdown at the start of the episode. We can play like this video here at the end. Oop, let me turn off. This is another thing you can do is you can like quickly just add a comment from your uh, live chat onto screen. You can add banners and stuff as well. I don't know. I think it's going to be good. So we're going to test it out for the first time today um, and see how it goes live. We've used it before for recording, but not for live. Welcome everyone to the first live episode of back here the same time next week Bye. okay so it's the next day and while I didn't film it I actually did stop and do a mindfulness session after work which is really good I used the calm app let me just pull it up um, so they have like a daily calm that's like a yeah a new meditation thing each day and so I just clicked on that and did it and it was it was really nice I think it's gonna take practice to like actually um, Get out of my own thoughts a lot more but i think it's something i should continue doing to attempt to break free from like stress and thinking about work when i'm not working that's the hard part about working at home you know you're always at work technically um so you gotta you gotta be careful with that stuff anyway thanks for watching the vlog i'm not sure this one was overly interesting but i mean i don't know i showed you stuff i was doing in my week and that's just what i was doing this week and i'll see you back next week for a new vlog Thanks for watching. Bye.